the green Lynnet W. Wordsworth. It is spring, and between all the activity that abounds, there is one bird that stands out. The green Lynnet is here, there, and everywhere, sometimes not quite seen, but heard, a delight to behold. The Green Linnet Beneath these fruit tree boughs that shed their snow white blossoms on my head, with brightest sunshine round me spread of spring's unclouded weather. In this sequestered nook, how sweet to sit upon my orchard seat, and birds and flowers once more to greet my last year's friends together. When have I marked the happiest guest in all this covert of the blessed? Hail to thee, far above the rest, in joy of voice and pinion. Thou, Lynette, in thy green array, presiding spirit here today, dost lead the revels of the May, and this is thy dominion. While birds and butterflies and flowers make all one, one band of paramours, thou, ranging up and down the bowers, art soul in thy employment. A life of presence like the air, scattering thy gladness without care, too blessed with any one to pair, thyself thy own enjoyment. Amid yon tuft of hazel trees that twinkle to the gusty breeze, behold him perched in ecstasies, yet seeming still to hover. There, where the flutter of his wings upon his back and body flings, Shadows and sunny glimmerings that cover him all over. My dazzled sight he oft deceives a brother of the dancing leaves, then flits and from the cottage eaves pours forth his song and gushes, as if by that exalting strain he mocked and treated with disdain the voiceless form he chose to feign while fluttering in the bushes.